Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've continued to upgrade the experience of the canvas and today we're announcing the Auto Layout Canvas, which is going to help you to build responsive apps on AppSmith. So you don't have to worry about learning CSS Grid or Flexbox, just to build responsive apps. We're doing all of the work for you. And we also know that many of you watching this video are backend engineers who do not like CSS. So we're automating the whole process so then you don't have to think about it or worry about it any bit. So today we'll take a look at the Auto Layout feature in fact, this feature is going to be a really big feature and we'll be having several versions coming out in the next few months, but we're really excited and happy for the work we've done right now and we want to share that with you. So in today's video, we'll take a look at three main things. We'll talk about what Auto Layout is, why you should care about it, and how to use Auto Layout or convert your already existing apps to use this new responsive layout. All right, so that's it. My name is Confident and I'm a developer advocate at AppSmith. Without any delay, let us get started. Okay, so let's start with talking about what auto layout is. A brief description of auto layout is, okay, do you know what, scratch that. I don't want to bore you, so I'm just going to show you what it is. So taking a look at my screen, you notice that this view of the editor looks a bit different. That's because we have this slider that allows us to uh, see how responsive our app is. Right now, I have this app set to use auto layout. And of course, I can go use the slider to preview how my app looks and feels across different viewports. So this is my app right now. Uh, something you notice is that we have um, a header image, then we have the name of the app and a button on the same row. And of course we have a table and a form uh, for users up side by side. Let's take a look at what this app looks like when we are in a mobile view. Now you can see that the app is actually responsive because we have the button uh, wrapping below the text and we also have the form wrapping below the table and this app is still beautiful and still functional even though viewed on a tiny device screen. So this is what auto layout is and of course if I go deploy the app, so let's go ahead to deploy the app for example. This is a desktop view of my app and if I go open up the Chrome Dev Tools and we turn on the responsive viewport. Uh, so this is also going to help us see how our app looks like on a user's device. So let's make this very tiny. You can see that our app is still usable even though viewed on a small device. So in essence, this feature allows you to build responsive apps without actually having to think about it. All right, so I know the big question is, why should you care about auto layouts? Um, right off the bat, it helps you build responsive apps, which is a very, very useful feature. No one wants to spend time building three versions of the same apps, one for desktop, one for tablet, and another for mobile. That's going to be a huge waste of engineering time. So what we're doing is we're automating the process for you so that AppSmith is able to guarantee that whatever app you build would look great and work fine across all devices, tablets, uh, smart TVs, smartwatch, and mobile device. You don't just have to worry about it because the platform is going to do all of the heavy lifting for you. You just build once and we guarantee it is going to run fine across all devices. It's going to run everywhere, in fact. Another reason why this feature is very important and why you should care about it is that it helps you actually build so much faster. Now, you're going to see this in a minute when we actually build an app, and you're also going to experience this when you go build using this feature. This feature just makes it so much easier to place widgets on the canvas and move them around. That is because the canvas has been optimized for responsive widgets. You see this when you actually go build, so I don't have to talk much about it because it feels like putting round pegs in round holes. Or another analogy could be the MagSafe charger. It makes it easy to plug in your device because it magnetically attaches to your device or unplug whenever you're done charging. So that's the same experience Auto Layout gives you because the canvas is optimized. It makes it easy to drag widgets or resize them. You don't have to worry about that or think about building an app so much because the canvas is actually way more efficient. Now let's talk about how to use this feature. All right, so there are two ways to use the auto layout feature. The first being converting from 
an old app that uses the fixed layout canvas into auto layout and the second being starting from scratch so let's start with converting an old app what i'm going to do is convert this app back to the fixed layout and then we'll convert it into auto layout so we have to refresh the app and i'm going to click on the discard button all right and here we have our app using the fixed layout now something you notice is that to the right of the page you have the option to convert the auto layout i mean this button right here so go ahead to hit that button and here you have a model telling you that this is going to make your apps responsive and that will also create a snapshot to save your current fixed layout for about five days such that you can roll back if auto layout doesn't work out well for you so let's go ahead to convert this and let's refresh the app and you can see that we have the app converted to auto layout um you have this banner here telling you you can always roll back because you have the snapshot and of course um you can fix alignment issues like this by making sure uh sorry that was too long uh by resizing the app such that it fits with yeah so now both the table and the form fit nicely together so that's how to convert an already existing app to use auto layout the other option is to build using auto layout from scratch and if you head over to your dashboard and you try to create a new app you can actually go hit use auto layout because the fixed layout is the default uh, experience so let's use auto layout and here you can actually go start building using auto layout so let's search for a table widget and something you notice is that we have a drop zone over right there on the canvas and once i release this widget it's automatically going to fill out that drop zone which is what i was talking about it makes it so much easier to build because you don't have to worry about placing widgets on certain parts of the canvas or trying to resize them that's just done automatically for you now let's go find a json form widget and something you notice is that i also have that drop zone view you saw earlier so i could either drop it here or here or here or to the side of the table and once i release it it's automatically going to fill out that space and of course we can make it aligned by increasing the height of the table widget and then we have a responsive app that works great across all devices and viewports which is awesome now if you want to continue to catch up on what we've been doing so far go check out this video on how to set up row level security using postgres and we also have a video right here showing you how to upgrade to business uh, the apps business edition so go check out those two videos and i'll catch you in the next one take care bye bye